Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today, I'm here with my boy, Aaron, and we're gonna be doing a customization battle of the Vapid Sand King XL. As I'm sure you guys can tell behind us, we have two of them. Aaron's gonna customize his to look as best as he can possibly make it. I am gonna customize mine to make it look as best as I possibly can. When we're both done customizing it, we're gonna go over both of the trucks, see which one we each like better, and then we're gonna leave it up to you guys in the comments to decide who is the winner of this customization battle. If you haven't subscribed to Aaron's channel already, go and do that now. He is linked in the description down below. Anyway, let's hop in. All right, so we're not gonna waste any time here, guys. We're in Los Santos Customs. Basically, I'm actually just gonna leave the armor and brakes off of this thing, as well as the engine and turbo and the transmission, simply because it's not really gonna affect how the car looks. And this customization is about how the car or truck actually looks. That's the only thing that matters. So we're gonna start off with the front bumpers. For the front bumpers, we have the chrome tow hooks, the chrome skid plate and bull bars, painted skid plate and painted skid plate and bull bars. Honestly, I don't really like the bull bar on the front of this thing. So I think I'm gonna go for the painted skid plate. I like that look the best i think next up for the chassis we can go for the chrome roll bar painted roll bar painted double roll bar or the bed cap the bed cap could be like kind of a sleeper option that we could go for with this thing i'm not 100 percent sure though i feel like it kind of just looks better to have the painted roll bar or the painted double roll bar you know what we're gonna go for the painted double roll bar next up we got the fuel tank we could add fuel tanks onto this thing although i think it kind of doesn't really fit too well with the overall look of the truck so i'm actually gonna leave that off next up for the grill we can do a chrome grill or we can do a black grill the black grill looks a little more aggressive but i almost think the chrome is like kind of underrated with this thing but i think i think it's gonna have to be the black i don't really know what aaron's doing over there so we're gonna have to see uh how this turns out at the end i guess for the headlights we're definitely going xenon on those next up for the plate we're gonna go yellow on black for the respray this is where the thing is gonna get interesting i think i'm gonna go with the classic saxon blue look for this truck uh which is you know basically ford blue uh that they like to do all their cars in and all their trucks especially when they're like displaying them uh, i think saxon blue matches up pretty well with that and i think saxon blue just overall is a really nice looking color so we're gonna go for saxon blue for the roof we could add a sunshade to it if we want to i know you guys can't see that very well i think i will do it why not for the suspension i'm gonna lower this thing down as much as possible because i honestly don't think it looks that great when it's super raised up so i think that's gonna help out with the look of it overall next up we're gonna go for the wheels and we are going to we're gonna put on some off-roads for sure i think i'm gonna go for my favorite off-road rooms which are the concave rally master i think it looks really good on this truck now we could go black or we could go with something a little bit lighter i'm almost thinking i want to match it up with the front grille and i think anthracite black is going to be the best option to do that so we're going to go for that next up we got the tires we could add a tire design to this thing ah uh, not really feeling it though so i think we're just going to leave it stock next up we got the windows we can tint these all the way out or maybe we should just do like a bit of a lighter tint on them no i'm i'm a i'm a limo tint guy that's for sure so i'm gonna i'm gonna do that and i think the truck is pretty much ready let's take this thing out let's make sure it looks good then we're gonna wait for aaron to be done and we'll see uh see what happens i guess all right so i'm gonna park this thing right in the sun so we uh, get get a good look at it for sure um, i'm interested to see what aaron's gonna do it'd be pretty funny if we ended up coming out with the exact same customization of the truck i think that'd be uh, i think that'd be pretty funny so gonna have to see i'm pretty happy with how this has turned out i think this thing looks really good actually i probably could have eh, you know what I probably could have done it without the skid plate, but I do think that the skid plate does add something to the truck. Even just by removing the bull bar, I think it does look a little bit better. So I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. I just want to make sure you guys can fully see this thing so that you guys know what it looks like when we uh, end up comparing it to Aaron's. And uh, you guys can vote below in the comments. Anyway, let's wait for Aaron. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so here we are. We both customized our trucks. As you can see, Aaron's is on the right and mine is right here behind me. They both look really good in my opinion. We're going to do a quick tour around each of them and show you guys what they look like. So Aaron, uh, do you want to start with your truck and uh, take us around and uh, see what's up? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, yeah, I agree. The trucks look great. I did not know Sand Kings could look this good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so initially I was going to go for, um, I saw one of the bumpers extended really low, right? And mm -hmm. I was thinking this reminds me of a bearded dragon. So oh, I kind of yeah. wanted to make it look like dragon colored i guess yeah, so yeah i was yeah. gonna okay. go for like a a red on top and then a black for the the midsection right or for the underbelly and then 
my business got raided and my Sand King despawned while I was doing the raid. So I got a new one. And with this one, I thought, you know, it would look good if I flipped the colors. So now we have a graphite top right. and a Cabernet red underbelly. Okay. And then um, for the wheels, it's uh -huh. actually really cool. I'm not sure if you know, but putting custom tires on this thing actually changes the tire um, yes. texture. It does. It's very cool. I did not know that. Yeah, it's so. awesome. I think it's a great little detail that Rockstar added for sure. Yeah, captivated me. Yes, no doubt. Yep, so that's my car. Okay, dope. So, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm just going to do a quick little uh, 360 around it, make sure everybody knows what's going on with it. And uh, glad to see that we both chose the right headache rack for the truck. Uh, I, I, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, there's really only one option there. Yeah, there, yeah, the, the other one. I mean, I mean, the stock one's pretty good, but the uh, the canopy definitely is uh, <laughs> a bit, a bit of an L. Yeah, it's it's so long. All right, so with my truck, I ended up adding the <laughs> I ended up adding the skid plate to my truck, and I went with the black grill as well. Uh, you went with the black grill too, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the black grills it, it looks the best in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I end up going for the visor, which I don't think that you actually did, right? I yeah, I thought it was so weird that you can't actually see the visor in the customization. Yeah, I know, screen. that's what I was thinking too. Yeah, it was terrible. So yeah. So yeah. I just decided not to. Okay. Uh yeah, so I've tinted my good. windows fully out on mine. Um mm -hmm. I've also, like I said, gone for the same headache rack that you went for. Uh, for my wheels, I went for the Concave Rally Master, which are my favorite off-road rim. I think they, yeah. uh, I think they just look absolutely fantastic. So yeah, it looks really good. Super happy with how that turned out. Uh, I didn't go for the massive fuel tanks on it because they look terrible, and <laughs> I don't know why you would ever put those on your truck. But yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And I also lowered the suspension absolutely all the way down because I think this thing looks pretty ridiculous when it's at its uh, stock ride height. So I, I definitely agree. I didn't lower mine all the way. I think i just did street but okay. it definitely was too much at the top yeah yeah for sure for sure yeah i uh, think uh your your lowered suspension works well with your front bumper yeah i i agree that's that's kind of what i was uh what i was thinking when i actually lowered it so that's sax and blue man i'm telling you yeah it does does oh, wonders man. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's what both of the trucks are looking like. We're going to come in for a uh, quick little, you know, close-up of Aaron's truck. Make sure you guys know what it looks like fully. And we're also going to go for a quick little close-up of my truck as well. Make sure you guys also know what mine looks like. Make sure you guys go down into the comments below and vote for which one of the trucks you think looks the best. I think they both look fantastic. I'm actually really impressed with Aaron's customization. I think it actually works very well with that truck. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think Yours does as well. I think they uh, I think they're both some good looking trucks for sure so mm -hmm. anyway guys thank you so much for watching make sure you go subscribe to Aaron's channel if you haven't already go and watch his version of this video where he customizes his truck if you enjoyed the video leave a like if not dislike subscribe if you guys are new and I will see you guys in the next video until then take care peace